the beauty of family medicine is that you could be in a room with a newborn and then walk into the next room and it was the grandfather for the family. Our program has a lot of interesting opportunities uh, available to, to residents if they choose. I think that um, being in the Albany area affords them a community hospital at St. Peter's uh, as well as a university uh, hospital and children's hospital at Albany Med. So our residents rotate at both. It's a best of both worlds opportunity that very few programs in the United States can, can offer. In addition to that, our office, which is privately run by community care physicians, um, allows our residents and, and faculty a, a lot of autonomy in running their practice in the day-to-day -day operation. So it really has um, allowed us to grow, build a new health center, and really be practicing cutting-edge medicine so that when our residents go out for their first job, they're experienced in, uh, in, in all of these uh, aspects. I, th I think our program stands out for people who are interested in making reproductive health part of their practice, particularly abortion care, part of their practice. So my name is Lee Stetzer. I've been on the faculty here since graduating from this residency program in 2008. And my role is mainly with reproductive health. But part of my duties include being medical director at Upper Hudson Planned Parenthood, our local Planned Parenthood affiliate. So our program has a really close affiliation with them. We have both medical students and especially our residents come over uh, if they're interested um, to provide all the services we provide at Planned Parenthood so residents have a chance to be very hands-on. We also provide the same reproductive services in our office too, so um, a lot of residents provide medication abortions for the patients here. Um, we do a lot of colposcopy, uh, a lot of uh, long-acting reversible contraceptives of course, including LEAPs. Um, we, we do basically all reproductive health stuff that does not require an operating room. One of the things I love about our office is that there's a great patient mix. So I think about half of our patients uh, have some form of managed Medicaid, so we take care of a lot of underserved, underinsured folks. Uh, a lot of refugees in the area come to our office, so um, we uh, take care of a lot of folks who are recent arrivals from places like Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Sudan. Seems to be a huge community in this area that comes to our office. Um, but we also take care of a lot of the folks who work at Albany Med, a lot of the uh, folks from other residency programs or doctors there. So it's a, it's a great mix. You're not just seeing the same type of patient all day, every day. Albany is a great city um, because it's manageable and it's um, really, you don't have to drive far and you realize that you have a ton of other wonderful things about being in upstate New York. So whether that's you know, hiking or camping or, you know, just being able to get outdoors and take a walk and it's fresh air and it's affordable. I mean, I think that's huge being able to say that you can live in a really comfortable home or a comfortable apartment with ease of travel and not a ton of traffic and um, feel comfortable there is, is really great without, you know, breaking the bank. Our graduates can go forward and do anything anywhere. I don't think you need to be in a rural program to be a rural family doc. You just need to be well trained. Albany Family Medicine to me, um, personally having experienced it and now being as faculty is a family first and foremost always. The level of support that you get from the people that truly care about both you and your education is extraordinary and I think quite rare and I feel grateful for it every day. I, I say thanks for it all the time because I know I come to work and I'm happy to see the people that are here and I feel proud of our residents and I feel proud of our faculty and that's a really wonderful thing.